Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Agri Addict. So I hope like you people have done the exam well. Now it's time to rest. So before that, a lot of students were asking like how was the paper? Was was it difficult? Was it easy? Was it hard? What did you get cut off? Like how many questions from questions came from the different uh, subjects? So I'll talk about everything since I attended these exams. I know most of the things like how was the paper compared to the previous year. That's what I'm going to talk in this video. So how much I am also very much curious to know the things from you people. A lot of students are already messaging us in a WhatsApp group and also on a personal WhatsApp. So like I'll be replying to all of them and like we will be also compiling the questions, the memory based questions and present it before you so that a lot of things will be very much clear very soon because jo can, like the key answer will be like coming very late. It would take at least 15 to 20 days to get the key answers. So in the meanwhile, I'll have some to have some peace of mind so we can discuss the questions that came in the exam also like if you are interested you can definitely see this in the upcoming video that we'll be uploading so like in this video I'll talk about the level of paper the number of questions in the each subject and what will be the cutoff expected cutoff what we can consider whether the paper was easy medium or hard and what next what should we do now what is the next process and what are the upcoming steps for which you have to be prepared. So this video will be a lot more useful and important for all the students who have written the ICRPG exam in the year 2025. So do not miss the video at any cost. Okay. And it will be interesting to, to know the analysis of the paper. And I'll be also coming up with the detailed analysis very, very soon. So it depends like on how like how fast you will be sending the questions to us. Already our master course students are already sending the questions that whichever they remember. So if you remember any of the questions, you can directly contact us on this, like drop the questions on this number. So we'll be compiling it soon and we'll be uploading in it on our YouTube channel. So before the key answer comes, we'll get all things sorted. So first thing regarding the level of paper, see compared to the previous year of 2023 and 2024, let's take the last two years uh, paper. So compared to this, the paper of 2025, according to me, like what I have attended the questions, I felt since I have attended the exam in the 2024 also, like I felt it was easy to moderate in case of 2024, but somewhere I felt like something was hard in case of 2025. I'll tell you exactly why I felt this. The opinion might again change from student to student. If some student has really prepared well, because like I have not prepared for the plant pathology, like microbiology and not more about the breeding. I was only concentrating on the questions from the genetics and seed tech, but still I would be happy to know and I would be curious to know your thoughts. Like how, what did you feel? Whether the paper was easy, medium or hard on the comment section. Let me know in the comment section soon. Okay. So according to me, it was hard. I'll tell you why. Uh, let's talk about the number of questions from the each subject. I have also remembered the number of questions from the each subject in this year paper. So firstly, like the genetics, from the genetics, there were around 21 questions, 27 questions that were asked. And in case of plant breeding, in case of plant breeding, there were around 21 questions. And from plant pathology, it there were around 31 questions. And from SST which, which was not expected that there were 18 questions that came from the seed sense and technology and next for from the AMB there were around 11 questions and like the questions from the AMB and the plant pathology like they overlap so I considered some questions in the AMB you might be considering it in the pathology so the number is 11 for me and in the pathology it is 31 and regarding the schemes which we discussed in our later sessions in the YouTube from the schemes also like there were like two questions that came and from the institutes I always said about the institutes that the all the ICR institutes the national and the international institutes related to the agriculture are very important they have literally asked like four to five questions from the institutes directly regarding the location of the institutes and the year of their establishment and next like general agriculture we always worry about the general agriculture as always from the as in the previous years that the questions were only like three to four questions were asked from the general agriculture in the previous year paper. So this was the exact number of questions, almost exact, exact number of questions that came in the different subjects for the subject of plant sciences in the 2025. So what was surprising is getting 18 questions from the SST and I felt somewhere the questions of the plant breeding were a bit advanced, like the questions from the markers were also came in this. Markers we generally do not read in the genetics that we uh, have in our syllabus of ICRPG, but the questions also came in the, from the topic of markers plus like most of the three to four questions were from the atrocis and the dominance and over dominance. So that I noticed 
and the, there were mostly conceptual they were not direct questions they were mostly conceptual in case of the plan bidding that's what i felt it was like time consuming and also um, it was not that easy to come into the one conclusion from this part and from the seats and the technology this was the actually the surprising part where like the questions were also more and the level of questions were also high even being a SRF student like I think a lot of students won't be able to answer all 18 questions even like I for me to be honest like I did not understand like two to three questions from the CTEC also being a, a PhD student from the CTEC that was the level of paper in case of CTEC yes I was able to attend all 18 but still there was not clarity on in two to three questions that I have attended to be honest so this is how the paper was mainly because of CTEC I feel like this paper is a bit hard uh, apart from that institutes, institutes are fine schemes are fine and in AMB also usually the questions will be four to five every year but this time 11 questions came it might be the fact that the questions are overlapping with the plant pathology so the numbers are right numbers may be right that it is again four to five rest of the questions are included in the plant pathology but as expected from the plant pathology they asked about the causal organisms scientific name about uh, regarding the course postulates there were very similar kind of things that usually comes in the exam same thing came so but still overall i felt like not that easy compared to the last year it was bit bit hard bit hard compared to the last year and uh, because of this next the next one thing like everyone will be like curious to know about it is about the cutoff based on this what will be the cutoff for the this year see if you know about like 2024 and 2023 in 2023 like 406 was the highest marks the first ranker and 2024 i guess like 401 is the highest marks okay so 401 and 406 is almost like getting 100 questions right getting 100 questions right in this previous year exams but i feel for this year to get the jrf or to get the icr pg fellowship like 250 and above will be okay and 300 plus will be like mostly safe for the students who will be scoring 300 plus for the icr pg fellowship but still even if you are scoring 250 plus still you will have a better chances to get the icr pg fellowship that's what i felt and let me know your views in the comment section i'd be also happy to see the comments like uh, opinions of you like what did you feel about the exams so this is the overall thing that i felt regarding the plant sciences mass uh, icr pg exam in the year 2025 okay so this was the thing next thing okay now the exam is done so you have you are a bit relaxed now exam like now it's done so only thing that would be left is like completing your degree if you have not yet completed it and the time frame to complete your degree within it is within the counseling date okay and you might ask me like sir when does the counseling starts when does the allotment starts before that what will be the release of key answers so let's talk from the key answer release so what is the next process the next step will be like key answer release after the key, key answer there will be like one more final key answer final key answer release or final answer key release and next after final answer key there will be the scorecard and after scorecard they will release the rank card and then there will be like icr pg counseling that will start for you people that will go for three rounds and plus one mop up round okay so starting from here key answer when it will release since it is like 3rd of july today when the exam is conducted mostly by within 15 to 20 days you will get the key answer so 15 to 10 20 days it will be like almost like last week of what last week of july you might be you must be getting the key answers mostly by the last week of july but this is this might not be the exact date because always like the dates are not uh, precise or fixed from the nta but usually it takes around like 10 15 15 to 20 days to get the key answer so once this key answer is released again they will uh, give some window to challenge the questions if there is any mistakes or if there is any grace or wrong in the key answer they will allow to challenge the questions so that will be like another four to three to four days will be given here and after that again in 10 to 15 days after this you will be getting the final key answer and the scorecard will be again around 10 to 15 days and the sometimes rank card can come with the scorecard or else like they can again take at least one week to release the scorecard and after this again one week to start the counseling so mostly you will be getting your counseling started by august end or in the september okay in the month of september it will the complete process will take at least one month 
for sure so by july end you, you can expect that the release of key answer and next the challenging and after the final answer key and the scorecard will be like next 15 days that is like in the mid of august and by august end the counseling process will start which will with, which will be with the three step process three stages of counseling first round second round third round and lastly it will be like mop up round okay so what about sir how what to prepare what documents to know like everything i have already explained in detail in my previous previous videos that what are the documents required for the counseling and what you have to take care for the process of the counseling everything is well explained so if you have not yet watched the video the link will be available in the description box please make sure to watch all the videos that are related to the counseling we will be also posting it in our whatsapp channel so if you have not yet joined our whatsapp channel and the telegram channel so all our social media platforms please do join it so that you get all the updates regularly because it's very important that you prepare for this counseling in order to get the seat for the icrpg next Sir, which university is good? Which university is best? What is the priority of the university for genetics? What is the priority of university for plant pathology? Whether genetics is good, whether plant patho is good, whether CTEC is good, micro is good. Every questions will be answered very soon. So we will be answering all of these questions. Anyhow, like uh, uh, regarding the priority, we have already released the priority list. So the priority list is available in the description. You can just check the priority for your subjects, which university is best, like top to bottom. There are complete list. So everything is well explained in the previous year and uh, the links will be available in the description box but along with this if you have any extra things to ask do not just uh, text on this number you won't be getting any answers in this number because the number is handled by the technical team so i would request you if you have any queries just directly drop on this comment drop a comment on this video so that the complete team can work on it simultaneously and get the answers for you people as quick as possible so that there will be no delay at all okay so that's it i hope like you people have also faced the same thing might be a bit not uh, satisfied with the kind of questions that came in this here might be the case or some might be very happy with the kind of questions some might have expected such questions so there is a mixed opinion because i have already i also got the review from the students who have just written the exams and uh, came out of the exam center since i was in the exam center and also like from each one of you what's your views like how many questions you have attended and what is the level of paper just answer these two questions in the comment section and we will be also guiding you people for the con complete counseling process so do not worry about it so be calm take some rest take some break enjoy your enjoy your time till the counseling or till the release of the key answer anyhow like you have a lot of things to do after the key answer release so stay tuned stay connected for all the further updates thank you so much